Hey girls, so I've been getting a lot, a lot of requests to do kind of an everyday hair routine show. What I do to keep my hair so shiny, what I do to keep it healthy, um, what straightener I use, what products I use, everything like that. So I'm going to show you that. But before I get started, I just want to show you what shampoo and conditioner I've been using lately. And this is Josio K-Pack Reconstruct Shampoo. And it is basically to repair damage. And the damage I have is from using so much heat. And I get split ends very, very easily. So I don't want to cut off the length. So if you have that kind of problem, this shampoo is amazing. And it makes your hair so silky, so smooth, so soft. It's amazing. Then I use the same conditioner that goes with that. This one actually has a lid. The other one broke off. I don't know how. Okay. Then the last thing I use is a deep penetrating reconstructor. I've actually used a lot of this. And I just apply it to the ends of my hair. I don't put it up on the root. I'm in love with this stuff and it has the best smell in the world. The shampoo and conditioner doesn't really have a smell. But this smells like coconuts and it's very, very strong coconuts. So if you don't like coconuts, I do not recommend you getting this. But it smells so good and it leaves the scent in your hair. So I'm about to show you exactly how I do my hair every day to get it long and straight. A lot of people are like, you know, how do you keep it so straight? And I do use a lot of products. Now, my hair is very thick, so I can use a lot of products. Look, there's even more in the back. All right, so like I was saying, my hair is very thick, so I can use a lot of products. But if you don't have hair that just absorbs all the products, it is going to make your hair look oily if you use all of the products I use. So I'm going to give you a link on the side. All of these items can be purchased at Ulta. So I'm just standing up and showing you my hair. This is what my hair looks like every day. Long, straight, shiny, beautiful. So normally after I get out of the shower, the first thing I do is moisturize my body. But today, since I was filming, I went ahead and did my makeup, so my hair was a lot drier than it usually is. So I went and I ran my head under the sink, and then I let it sit for about five minutes, which is usually how long I let it sit. So now I'm just going to take it out. Okay. I part it using my fingers. I part my hair in the same spot every day, and it just naturally kind of falls like that now. Now I'm going to brush my hair out with a wide tooth comb. You want to make sure that you brush your hair with a comb when it's wet instead of a brush because a brush is going to break your hair and we don't want that to happen. Just be pretty gentle with it. If you have any tangles, work with them slowly. Don't just like rip them out. We don't want that. Okay, now my hair's combed out. So I'm going to apply um, Josio K-Packed Reconstruct Split End Mender. And the way I do this is I flip my hair over. I do two pumps, actually three. Hmm, that would probably be two. Pull all your hair to the front, and I want you to be able to see the ends. Rub it between your hands and just rub it on the ends. This doesn't need to go all the way up your hair because it is just a split end mender. So I'm just rubbing it on the ends like this. Then I take Redken Satin Wear Ultimate Blow Dry Lotion. It looks like this. I put about a nickel size into my hand and I rub it completely throughout my hair. Concentrate mainly on the hair, though, and not up way at the roots because we don't want our hair to look greasy. So once that's evenly distributed, we are going to start blow drying our hair. I'm just using a Mary Kate Nashley blow dryer. I've had this. It was Elle's. Elle got this when she was in seventh grade, and now she's about to be a senior in college. So that's how long that this has been in our family. I'm wanting to get a newer one, but I don't know which one to get. So if anyone loves their blow dryer, comment me down there and tell me the brand of it because I really, I need a new blow dryer. So, but this one's going to work fine for this video. All right, so what I do is I flip my head 
over like this and I just kind of run through it with my fingers. I take this and I blow dry my hair on high and it doesn't even have a heat setting. Um, it has a cool button but I don't want to hold that down so I used to. I used to stand there holding it down. So I'm just going to put it on high and I'm not going to brush my hair. I'm not going to try to get it straight while I'm blow drying it. I'm just going to dry it as fast as I can. So once your hair is about halfway dry, go ahead and apply a nickel size of Chi Silk Infusion. This is what I use to keep my hair really, really shiny, which a lot of you ask. And I rub it between my hands. Ooh. Okay, flip my hair over, first concentrating on the ends and then working my way up. I just run my fingers through my hair. Make sure it's evenly distributed. You don't want one section of really, really shiny hair. Okay, and then we're just gonna finish up blow drying our hair. All right, so now our hair is dry, but it is one big old poofy mess. That's okay. Um, I'm going to take my comb again, and first I'm going to part it with my fingers, I like to part it right above the arch of my right eyebrow. That's how I always part it. Pull it, pull it around to the front. Okay. Then I'm going to comb through it one last time. Make sure it's all really dry and I don't just think it's dry. So now here is the part where I usually do my makeup because I feel that once you give your hair time to cool down, it straightens better. It, my hair doesn't straighten as well if I blow dry it and then I immediately go into straightening it. So I'm going to wait for about 15 minutes and then I'll come get back to you guys. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes and now we go on to the straightening part. The first thing I'm going to do is section my hair off by taking the section right above my ear, taking it, I'm going to fold it over to this side and clip it onto this side because I'm not working on this side yet. I'm focusing just right here. I'm going to brush it out and then spray it with Chi 44 Iron Guard. And this is actually a heat protectant. Okay, look at that. You really want this to coat your hair well. And then I'm gonna brush back through it to make sure it's evenly distributed and wait for that to dry for just a second. All right, so now it's dry, so I'm going to section off a piece about this big and take my Chi hair straightener, start at the root, pull it down slowly like that. Then I take another section. I get pretty sloppy with my sections. I just kind of go crazy. Take it, pull it straight down. A lot of times people e either curl the ends in or out, but I just prefer to leave mine stick straight. Go again. And then one time I take all of the hair. And that's about how I straighten a layer of my hair. Then I take this section down, fling it back over here, and divide this into two sections. Put that on this side. So now this side needs to be sprayed with heat protectant. Oh, I know a lot of people are going to ask me why I don't use the heat protectant before I blow dry my hair. Actually, that heat protectant you are supposed to spray on dry hair so that other thing, the Red Pin Blow Dry Lotion, has its own built-in heat protectant so you are protecting your hair while you're blow drying it. Alright, take the 
the straightener again, take section. I'm just going throughout the whole hair. I don't know, all together, I'd probably go over each piece like five times. Take down the top section and I'm Spray this one with heat protectant. Brush through with a hairbrush. I have this little piece of hair right here that loves to stick straight out. I'll show you what I usually do a second for that but it really bothers me. Now I just take the top section, straighten it. A lot of people just do one and they go really really slowly but I like to go fast and do a lot. I don't know it just it works better for my hair. Okay so I just straightened this side of my hair just the exact same way I straightened this side and now I'm going to take XXL Garnier Fructis Volume and Thickening Mousse and take about that much. So that's, I mean, kind of a lot, I guess. Rub it between my hands and massage it onto my scalp. This is what I do to give my hair some volume. Make sure you get the back. Then, I know it looks crazy, I'm going to help you take a little bit more. So you want to flip your head over, rub this together again, and just get it right in this back area. Just keep massaging. Okay, so now my hair is really, really big. But what you do is just take it and very, very gently brush your hair down. All right, so this is just gonna make your hair lay not so flat on your head. And you just wanna kind of pick it up and push it a little. Then with your hands, go over this. And just kind of play with it. Now, I'm going to take my straightener again. And this is just because I like really, really stick straight hair. And go over those sections. Just kind of whichever ones you think need something. The very last thing I do is I take Garnier Fructis Full Control Hairspray and I spray it directly onto my hairbrush. Then I just very lightly brush through my hair. Then the very, very last thing I do is I just take two fingers, spray some hairspray on them, and coat back this front little devil and that's how I do my hair every day I hope you liked it bye